Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, here with my third intro for this video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the two new units announced for Galadragalia, Reborn Poseidon, who is the new Galadragon, and I have the Phantom Thief that I can't remember the name of. Those two units are going to be coming up with the brand new banner. Um, so I'll be talking about them, looking at what they do, and that's going to be today's video. So if you end up liking it, you can leave a like. Comment about how you feel about any of these two units, whether or not you're going to be summoning and uh well everyone's going to be summoning for this one for a very good reason and um you can subscribe to me if you want more dragalia stuff so the first thing i should announce uh to say at least is that for the duration of this gala dragalia it looks like they've extended the free tenfold summons which is pretty nice it's not bad we've now officially had i think this gala dragalia last is gonna last longer let me see, 29th, let me quickly pull up, 29th, 1, 2, 3, this, this banner is going to last longer than the Halloween banner did, so, great, great, Lapis is her name, okay, let's get into it, so, first of all, Reborn Poseidon, uh, I like that they in, in continued the free multis, free multis are always good, uh, so here's Reborn Poseidon, um, Poseidon is a worm of legend who ruled the seas, is reborn after receiving the faith of a maiden. He was freed from the miasma, eating away at him. While his boisterous persona is unchanged, his re-examining his views on people's strength. This is basically Void Poseidon, but now on the side of good. Um, Atlantean Flood deals water damage to the targeted nearby enemies. If the user is targeting an enemy and not using a skill when their remaining shapeshift time runs out, this skill will be used automatically regardless of whether or not the skill gauge is filled. So that basically means he gets to use a skill twice unless you somehow don't use a skill immediately when he comes out. Water Strength 70%. If the user is attuned to water, increases strength by 70%. And Water Fury of the Sea too. If the user is attuned to water, adds 30% to the modifier applied to damage against the flame attuned enemies for 35 for, 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 for 45 seconds. Every time the dragon gauge fills to 10%, this increase will not stack, and after activating this ability, will not activate again for 5 seconds. Okay. Um, I like that his skill is kind of similar to Mars, except for Mars, you have to build it up. So if you get hit a bunch, you can't use it again. Um. I also like that he seems... So the way water works currently is that it's a lot of double buffers, and a lot of water units just use uh, the GameCube, as I like to call them, G and C, the, the bunny duo, Big Chungus, whatever you want to call them. We all have different nicknames for them. The one I always see is Big Chungus. Um, everyone uses Big Chungus. Almost everyone in water uses Big Chungus. Uh, I mean, if you're not using Big Chungus, then you chances are using something that creates bog. Whether or not Reborn Poseidon is going to be strong enough to replace the users who don't use um, the bunnies. I don't know. Uh, he seems like he'd be pretty damn good, though. It seems at least that he is strength. He's strong as hell. Um, the one thing I'm unsure of is the, so the one thing that has always been a thing with dragons is that using their skills. Usually, when you use dragon, you do less DPS damage. So. We won't know anything about how good he is until we actually have the mods and he's out and released. Because um, you never know with some with some dragons, you just don't know. There's some dragons who just literally just don't deal any damage at all. Like, that's just the way that they're built. And it makes them very slow for a lot of things. Cerberus is a good one where Cerberus has an extremely good abilities, but her skills and her damage is just so low. Like, so stupid low for some reason. Um... But still cool. I like the way he looks. I like that Poseidon Poseidon has never been good. The dragon. Even on release, he was immediately power crept by Leviathan, the first water dragon to ever show up. Um, and in general, you've never really ever had a need for Poseidon. So I like the idea of them taking the void dragons and making them good gala dragons. At least I hope that this guy ends up good. But, you know, I like that they didn't decide to just power creep the bunny duo. Because that would have honestly been way worse in my mind and speaking of something fantastic we have lapis who is a mana caster who is the fast one she's different from the the goddess Ilya, um because Ilya uses a long range she is a much shorter range one all right so let's go in 
Lapis is a dashing phantom thief who leaves blue roses as her calling card, a master of disguise she slips through even with the tightest security in pursuit of her prey. She returns all she steals seemingly doing it for sport, but is there more to her story? Uh, Fantastic Flight deals water damage to near to target I completely skipped target deals water damage to the target and nearby enemies and dispels one buff from each of them. Graceful Bullets deals water damage to enemies directly ahead. The more buffs the user has, the higher the skill boost received and the higher damage dealt, up to an additional 80%. Stronger Bullets will grant an <laughs> stronger bullets. Stronger bullets will grant a greater damage increase than other buffs. Um, gauge acceleration 20%. Water above 10 hits equals flame resistance 10%. Modus operandi 2. Dispelling an enemy buff or barrier lowers the enemy's water resistance by 5% for, for 30 seconds. And grants the user one stack of stronger bullets. This resistance reduction will not stack. Stronger bullets increases the user's critical rate by 4% and can stack up to 3 times. The effects of stronger bullets will be removed upon using graceful bullets. Stun resistance 100%. Blossoming Rose 2 grants the user one stack of stronger bullets for every 30 hit combo. This buff increases the user's critical rate by 4% and can stack up to 3 times. The effect of stronger bullets will be removed upon using graceful bullets. Okay. Um... I like her. I like that she seems like kind of like a, um, at least she reminds me of kind of Galaluca because Galaluca has a similar ability where, um, except for I think it's hit for him, it's just in general, he gets stronger when he gets buffs. For Lapis, it's just the one skill. Um, graceful Bullets gets better. Um, yeah, just Graceful Bullets gets better. Fantastic Flight. I don't know if debuffing dispels one buff from the enemy. I wonder if this would work on the Agido fight, because I know if you have to use um, a specific debuffer, but I don't know if their buff can be dispelled, basically. If you know, you can tell me, but I've never... From what I understand, <laughs> the basic fighting of those two is just using Karina a whole bunch and just beating people up. So whether or not she's going to be good for that, I think you'll be fine to do single player stuff with her, no problem. If you don't want to do cheese strats and the the co-op area but i kind of like the way she's built uh, like i said before a lot of water seems to be built around just buffing the team like crazy and she has stuff that benefits from that so seems pretty pretty nicely built and plus she's very nice to look at look at that look at that gun the hat combo the wonderful detailing of the suit here which is what I was pointing out there with the mouse. But anyway, that's the Gala Banner. And they're obviously saving um, Opera Singer. Also, it is really funny that in the story, they call her the Wind and Shadows. She's like, she's like, she moves like the Wind and Shadows or something. And she ends up being water. <laughs> uh, that's silly. I don't know why they did that. But anyway, I'm going to obviously be something. The answer is... Should you be going crazy summoning? And my answer is, I don't know, actually. I think both of them seem pretty all right to me. But, you know, with free multis, the smarter thing, especially if you're someone who's looking forward to the two opera singers that should be coming, and the big-ass whale that are coming next banner, um, which are the other units in the events, I would suggest the smarter play is to kind of just get free multis and then... Um, live it out that way because the next banner is not going to have free multis this will have free multis um you can kind of see where your free multis are from there especially because again gala dragalias are supposed to be extremely tough in pulling things you want and even with just two featured units which i like that they went back to the kind of two featured status i don't know could still be kind of tough and especially since we don't know 100% how good they're going to end up being. I mean, if you like these characters, whatever. Summon. I'm going to be summoning. Because look at her. Hat. Gun. Blouse. But anyway, I digress. That's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. If you did, once again, you can leave a like. Uh, slap that like button on here. And I always appreciate it when you take the time out of your day to tell me you like me. Um, and I even notice when you dislike me. <laughs> Um, you can comment, tell me about how you feeling. Are you someone who's waiting more for the opera ladies as opposed to the phantom thief over here? I also think Dragali is not being very, you know, obviously not everything's a reference to Persona 5, but come on. 
they've basically added a Persona 5 character without the IP of Persona 5, at least in terms of look and design. Uh, no word back if she has a shadow. Not a shadow. A persona. I'm dumb. It's late. I just finished working. But anyway, that's it for me, everyone. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out. But next episode, next video. Goddamn it, we could go to bed.